Yo guys, uh, so what this is uh, this video is about? Well, it, it's it's in the description. Ship, but what, what this is all about is how to get your semo semo save from your uh, folder into your Wii U the the console your Wii U by using Homebrew. Uh, first off, yes, you need Homebrew. Whatever Homebrew you want, guess what? As so long as you can install Savin. Or uh, and what you need first is to start a game. Uh, this sim right now, but uh, you need to start a game on your first. You need to install Savine. Once that done, start Savine and start it by going to start it and then return to Wii U menu. Uh, after that, start the game you want your save from. Uh, first, you start your game, and before you start your game, you need to. Start dump here, uh, and show you. You need to show your IP and shit uh, in uh, before you start the Savine, and uh, that you, that I can't uh, help you with that because you have to find out your own IP. But I must rec recommend going to CMD and IP config to find out there because you need to write your computer's IP, and after that you start dump. Uh, then once you start dump. It will run like this. Uh, drag it out to my other screen here. Uh, it will be running like this. Uh, once that this is done, uh, you will start your game, and then let, let's take it. Then it could take like a few seconds, and another little smaller screen pop up. It will say, "Do do you want to dump this file?" Then press OK. Once that done, the file will be dumped into uh, into. Uh, I can't even talk. Uh, can't be talked. Uh, be dumped not not in here. What the hell am I do? Uh, be dumped right in here. Um, and then you go in here, and here we here is your files from the Wii U, uh, your console. Uh, for example, now I have Zelda, uh, Wind Waker HD on on the same. But uh, I, I'm going to use the one that I tried this on. So this here is the file of uh, my gaming in the uh, Wii U console. This is my profile there uh, that you will get. Uh, you probably have somewhere around the same like a maybe a 10 or something. Once that that is over in your dump file. Move, uh, could be that folder, go back to Savine and then go to inject. Then inject, uh, in inject just, uh, just uh, you know paste your uh, folder here. Once that's done, uh, you go to your Simo uh, where you have your, your save file. Uh, I know people go say, but they're not the same because, you know, they're on a number like this, but just listen. listen. Uh, so you go to MLC01, uh, emulator save. Then here, you need to find out if, let's say you have a Cineplay because that's the game I did it on. So, Let's say you have seen a play save. So if you if you want to find the save you use for your stat game, uh, what you go to is start simo, uh, like I have here. Then you go up here and you see save direct, and then see uh, then you see B one C zero three three D D up here. And uh, then you go to MLC emulator uh, and search for B one and here's B one as you can see. So but for simpler, I gotta take the Cine blade and then open that. Then could be this folder. The the same thing with this here uh, for Cell HD or whatever game you want to do it on. Uh, you just copy everything here. Uh, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, and then you copy this this here. Uh, then you go to back here. Uh, go uh, if you have yeah, if you're gonna take your safe Cine now, then you find. The folder here where uh, uh, you need to go to dump here, here, and let's say you're searching for Cineblade. Uh, I know this Cineblade because ST here. Uh, open this one up, and then you could be that ST over right over there, then press OK on everything. Once that's done, uh, but you're gonna do it, I mean, the wrong one here, I mean, dump here. So. Go back, and we're going to here again, inject, and then here, 
then open this one your profile that's why you need dump because you're gonna need your profile uh, number here then open it then copy and paste and press ok on everything and you're done but what you need to do after that you go back here uh, go into your Wii U console uh, before you uh, before you open your game press inject uh, uh, close down the game you start on your Wii U for dumping your file uh, open inject and then start your game and then another uh, uh, little square will open up here and you will press OK on everything and this we inject the files from the CMO over to Wii U and then you can play your CMO's files on the Wii U so if you have a sheet of Zelda uh, Wind Waker HD, for example, you can put that through into uh, through your Simus uh, save over into your Wii U. So you can play a sheet that save through you, so it feels like more original with sheets. Uh, for example, I uh, I don't have any sheets uh, uh, sheeting on this one, so I can't do anything. But uh, if let's say if I, I have sheet on Cineblade, for example. Uh, uh, so if you want to save, you can sheet on the sheet, and then you do all this afterwards after you sheeted, and you do all this here, and then you get to say you can still play online if you know how to spoof and sheet and update your games and stuff. Uh, so you should be able to play online on, on the most games even with sheeted. Since I have sheeted file on eleven two hundred fifty five on Steel Blade, and then I have it, I have it on my Wii U. I wish my recorder worked. My uh, recorder, wish I record, you know, uh, some of the games like Digimon 2003 and stuff. Uh, I wish that one worked so I could show you my Wii U. But whatever. So uh, this is how you do this. Uh, if you need any help or anything at all, just write a message and uh, I can see if I can help you out. Uh, this is the only way I can show you because my recorder is broken. I'm gonna get a new one soon. Uh, but uh, this is the way I recommend you doing it. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope this helps out. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Monster RPG out. Uh, I hope you understand me because yeah, I know I'm not the best commenter. Uh, but uh, I hope you understand what I'm talking about and what I showed you. And uh, thanks for watching. Monster RPG and Enemy out. See you all around, see you next video.